You know, here's why I fear we will never, ever, ever get entitlement spending under control. Forget about ever really doing it. We can't even fake doing it. Welcome, everyone. Glad to have you. I'm Neil Cavuto. And talk about a house of cards, literally, because the fictional president on that fictional Netflix show takes a fictional stab at entitlement spending and liberal blogs are going seriously nuts. But more seriously nuts when I bring up the ridiculous reaction to this utterly ridiculous, totally made up issue. Take a look. The Huffington Post detailing how Underwood's goal of zero unemployment is impossible and that even if he did get there, inflation would get out of control everywhere. This tells you all you need to know, that even cutting entitlements on a fake show with a fake president gets this type of real irate response. This is Rome in the final days. Now, you can almost guess what happens next. Angry liberals jumping on moi for them jumping on this. This headline on a very popular media website pretty much summed it up. Fox's Cavuto proudly stands with the president. No, not Obama. The writer goes on to explain that I was seriously rushing to a fake President Underwood's defense. Newsflash, I wasn't rushing to anyone's defense. Just wondering why so many were taking offense over something that wasn't real. And a president and a whole storyline that are totally made up. It didn't matter. I was just seriously evil. I want you to take a look at just some of the responses. Like this one. Figures Cavuto loves Frank Underwood more than Barack Obama. Then this. Fake president for a fake news channel. This one I personally like. Proud and tasks are models for Fox News. And then this one. Cavuto's a troll and a midget ogre. I have no idea what that means. Obviously, Cavuto's okay letting our poor suffer. He makes Underwood look like Lincoln. Then this. What a heartless bastard that fat Fox fake is. All for cutting entitlements any way he can. Who are you calling fat? Anyway, most people are aware that Repub suffer from schizophrenia. I forgot. Mixed with racism. I forgot that, too. It's a dangerous combo. Then this. Underwood's cut to entitlements fund a $500 billion stimulus program. Cavuto didn't mention that. Well, actually, I did mention that. But who needs facts on something that's fake? And thank God for at least some viewers who did know what I was getting at. Like this guy. This headline is so deceptive. The Fox host was ranting about a fictional character being taken seriously by left-wing websites. And somehow he is defending him. This website is growing worse day by day. Now, there were a lot of other emails like that last one. In fact, most emails were like that last one. But my point here wasn't to make me look good. I don't have to. Try. Anyway, my other point, though, was to quite seriously take a look at how difficult it is to ever get a handle on real entitlement reform. Because even when we're discussing a fake show, my God, we, we can't even fake it. And if that's the case, we really are a financial house of cards. To political watcher Steve Moore, Sabrina Schaefer, Julie Ruginski. Steve, what do you think? Well, Neil, it is a fake character and it is a fake show, but you know what? It's not a fake crisis, <laughs> this entitlement um, time You're bomb that is going on. You're feeding the beast, more. You're yeah. feeding the beast. <laughs> well, you had it exactly right. You know, th this is a real crisis. 10,000 10, Americans are retiring every day. They're going on Medicare. They're going on Social Security. This is the Titanic headed r right to towards the iceberg. And, uh, you know, shame on you for saying maybe we should start turning that uh, that ship away from the iceberg, well, you, but well, you're right on. But here's the thing, Sabrina. I mean, even when a fake show, you know, lobs this up, uh, silly as it was, it gets this type of reaction. People are seriously right. all worked up about it. So, Sabrina, my worry with this is if we can't even get to it on, on, on a, a, a fake entitlement <laughs> address, how are we ever going to get serious about it? Well, here's the thing, Neil, and this is where the writers got Frank Underwood totally wrong. Deb
never have released something like Frank Underwood does, uh, this AmWorks pro program, without intensive persuasion messaging research. Frank Underwood would never have just talked about entitlement reform the way he did in that meeting, in that scene in the show. In fact, the Independent Women's Forum did conduct a randomized controlled experiment to figure out how do we talk about it. And talking about entitlement reform is not the sort of bomb that we're sort of t thinking it is. In fact, when you talk about cutting spending in order to preserve entitlements, Americans are strongly behind it. They're strongly behind constraining our budget and as well as reforming entitlements. And that's a good news. All right. My worry with this, Julie, is that we, we take it face value than anything that comes up there. So uh, by that definition and a fake show uh, in Planet of the Apes, I guess the subliminal message is, you know, we're not careful. This is us in just a few decades. I mean, we got to get Serious. You know why I'm so mad at you and your producers right now? I was sitting in my office minding my own business. They sent me this clip and they said, do you want to do the show today? And you totally ruined the house of cards for me. I was going to spend this weekend watching it and you spoiled the whole thing. So. I didn't give away how you he, get, how you he know addresses what? this. I, I just told you it. what one episode is about. I have made people keep their mouth shut for a week and you ruined my day. Thank you very much. Uh, look, I actually agree with <laughs> you. Well, you know it's fiction because it's a Democrat series about a budget. Oh, so you know it's fiction. Yeah, I forgot. The last Democrat that actually gave us a balance. Ooh, but, oh, okay. Touche, yeah, the last young lady. Yeah, touche. But name, even his, you, his Julie, name, Julie, come on. His name was Bill Clinton, Julie, by the way. Julie, even you. And I think Bill Clinton would take offense to everyone. Right. Hyper about it. I agree, but actually. I agree you. With agree, you. right? Totally. All right, so this Steve, she insane. agrees. Democrats, Republicans on the same page. Everyone lighten up. What say you? Well, look, uh, first of all, I didn't even know Underwood was president. So that's how far <laughs> I'm behind I am on oh, this stuff. No. But, <laughs> so thanks a lot. No, but, but look, here's, here's the point. We know this. We have tens of trillions, that's trillions with a T, of unfunded liabilities in these programs. Right. If we don't fix them, Neil, whether it's fictionally or in real life, we're up, this country is going to end up like Detroit even in mentioning them on a fictitious show. And well, that's the whole it? point. But again, you know. But you know what? Millennials like. Millennials do want to fix I agree, these programs. I agree, but I, I should alert to our audience that in Dr. Doolittle, the animals do not really talk. I just want them to be aware of that. They do not really talk. Although some of them, I think. Could if pushed. I, I also don't think the president's killed two people with his own hands in the history of this country, but I may be wrong about that. Frank Underwood said a lot worse than trying to pass. I don't, know I don't, about think, that. I don't think I don't he's pushed anybody in front of the DC metro anytime, but. I may be wrong let me, about let me that. add, though, that I don't think that this is a political disaster either. I think that, you know, look, I hope that people will take a look at the research that we did on this issue because it's not a lose-lose. It's, it's a, there's a win po politically and there's a win policy-wise. We have to deal with this issue because the pay-as-you-go system, as Steve acknowledges, is no longer working. Um, but I think Americans are more behind reforming this. It's a matter of how do we talk about it in a way that makes people comfortable and makes people realize that we're actually trying to preserve these systems for the future. All right. Well said. Guys, I want to thank you. Well, one other footnote. <laughs> to make a lot of you were confused whether the Linda Blair character in Exorcist was built on Nancy Pelosi. That one, you're right. That was, in fact, the case. Just lighten up, everyone. Lighten up. Meanwhile, fake.